As for the rising coronavirus cases in our area, restaurants may be part of the problem, uh, some of those positive test results, but it is still nonetheless a gut punch to restaurants in New York City. No more indoor dining beginning Monday and lasting for at least two weeks. And for many restaurants, it is more than a gut punch. It could be a death knell. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim. It is a fine cut of sashimi, sliced to perfection. This level of sushi, Michelin recommended, is meant to be enjoyed in front of the chef. Not exactly the kind of food meant for delivery or takeout, but come Monday, that's the only way Sushi Daizen in Long Island City, Queens can operate. It has the owner worried they won't survive. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot, yeah. High-end sushi like this really isn't meant to be eaten outdoors either, which is why there's zero outdoor dining here. Just another reason why when indoor dining is shut down again, it could cripple them. To begin with, Sushi Daizen can only seat 20. Under the current rules allowing 25% capacity inside, that's five customers at a time, tops. Come Monday, no more indoor dining in the city. We're asking everyone to hold on. You know, uh, the end is in sight, but we still have to get there. State officials say indoor dining goes against CDC guidance issued last week, which recommended masks at all indoor locations except inside one's home. The latest round of restrictions could be a crushing fatal blow for the industry. The NYC Hospitality Alliance questioning the governor's move, saying restaurants as an industry are only responsible for a small 1.4 percent of virus cases as compared to 74 percent from living room spread. Yet only New York City's restaurants are being closed, even when hospitalization rates upstate are double the city's rate. The data release coming just a day after our Seven on Your Side investigates team requested it from the state after local health departments refused to turn it over. The governor says his concern in the city is the density and crowding. I, I get it 100 uh, percent. Look, the, there's no perfect answer on any of this, and I understand everyone argues everything both ways. Indoor dining will be closed in the city for at least two weeks as the state monitors cases and hospitalizations. Chef Yonada says even before these next round of restrictions, his restaurant's future has been very much in doubt. We need some support from government. Yeah, yeah. In Long Island City, Safan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.